Hi guys, welcome to another Projection 3D video tutorial. Today we're going to create this very beautiful animation. This tutorial is not only for those of you guys who have experience with Projection 3D, but it's actually useful for those of you who are new to the whole thing. So get yourselves comfortable and let's get started. First of all, I'll drag this image to the timeline and I'll increase shadow map resolution to 4000 for the best quality. And then I'll press find camera. All right, so now we have to match the camera to the image we have here. Just as if we were shooting this picture. That is, we must find the point from where the real camera shot this image. So disable left side of the helper grid and start matching. To make it look something like this. Now click here to show hidden layers and scale helper grid. Great, we did it. Now hide hidden layers, select camera and image and click create projection. Then pre-compose and make two copies of this projection. Double click projection scene two. Now let's begin modeling. And we'll start from the background. So uncheck all sides except for the back one and click OK. Then drag created surface down. Okay guys, go back to the main composition and double click projection scene one. Now create a ground. So uncheck back, check bottom and click OK. As you can see, the ground of our scene has a certain tilt. So we need to create a ground with a tilt. Now let's generate a position point. Then go to tools menu and choose generate plane from points to create a plane there. All right, that's done. Scale the plane so that it covers the whole image. And just grab a pen and draw a mask along the slope. Okay, great. Now go to extrude tool, set depth size value to minus 2000 and create surface. All right, move it to the front along Z axis. It should cover the whole slope. Turn off scaling along all axes and scale along Z axis like that. All right, well done. The ground appears to be complete. Now we need to create a snow border. Now we already have a position for this guy. So just select bottom layer, then generate position, control, go to file, import image, and get that snow border pick. Double click and adjust anchor point position, like so. As you can see, the snow border is now in the right place. Now we just need to adjust the scale. Okay, cool. Let's go to the main composition and replace projection images. Choose snowboarder BG image for both projection scene two and one. All right, let's check it. All right, maybe I'll just move the snowboarder a little bit down. Okay, let's check it again. Looks great, right? Now, let's just get a bit of snow behind the snow border. So, select the guy to import image at the same position and get snow in here. Adjust anchor point. Then move it to the right. Move it down a little. Okay, now scale it. That's great. Okay, it's time to animate the camera. So let's move time indicator to position zero, which is the beginning of the composition. And add keys and move them to the front of the timeline. Also, click N to shorten the timeline. Now select Camera Tool and Animate.
Okay, cool, we did it. So now let's add a flag to this scene. I'll go to projection scene one and switch to projector camera. Select the bottom layer and generate position of the flag. Then import flag image. Adjust anchor point. All right, guys, now we need to adjust the flag position and also scale it a little bit. Once the flagpole touches the snow, we're good to go. See? Right there. Okay, that's enough. Let's move it to the left. Cool, let's check what we have. Now let's scale it. Like so. Okay, done. But actually, let's tilt it a little bit. And maybe rotate it. Also scale. Okay, perfect. Let's check it. Now let's move the camera a bit so that we can see the flag at the start. Let's see. You know, I'll just add a simple choker effect to the flag layer to clear all the artifacts that are visible at close range. Set one. You can also select three layers and add motion blur. Okay, let's pre-render. Okay, that's great. I like it. Now, the only thing I would do now is I would try to make the snow less sort of flat. So I'll select the snow layer and rotate a little bit. Like this. I'll just soften the edges so that it blends with the environment. To do that, double click snow layer and draw a mask. Change mask mode to subtract. Draw another mask. Change mask mode to subtract again. Now select both masks, click MM and increase mask feather. Okay, now I'll go back to main composition and pre-render again. Yeah, doesn't look that flat anymore. So let's scale a little bit more and also move it forward. Cool, go back to main composition. Okay, let's pre-render and see what's up. Perfect. Let's take a look at it in full screen. Looks great, doesn't it? Alright guys, looks like we finished our project here. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.